All right, so today's warm up is going to be very familiar for you. Um, we've got our jumping jacks, our seal jacks, our crossovers, squats, pogo jumps, squat jumps, followed by your um, wide outs and gate swings. So I'm going to go through all of those real quick for you, but you have probably all got it down by now. I want you to go through all of this three times today. We're working on really getting the heart rate up for today's workout. Um, the rest of the workout is going to be focused on your core and your glutes. But if you can get that heart rate up before you jump into it, we'll get more out of it. Okay? So remember, jumping jacks. Feet together, hands to the side. You've got 10 of them right here. As soon as you're done with 10 jumping jacks, we're going right into 10 seal jacks. Open up, clap. When you're done with 10 seal jacks, you've got 10 crossovers. Start out here, cross. Every time you cross is one. From there, you're gonna settle those feet, hip width, hands behind your head. Hips always come below the knees. You've got 10 of those. When you're done with that, bring your feet together. Remember, we're on the balls of your feet. Toes up, arms at 90. Everything is nice and tight. Nice quick little pogo jumps for 50. As soon as you're done with 50, we're gonna drop low, launch into squat jumps. When you're done with squat jumps, we're staying low, going into wide outs. Every time you come in is one, you've got 10. Then from there, gate swings up and down for 10. As soon as you're done with that, stand up, shake it out, catch your breath. Two more times. Bring the heart rate up and get ready to work out. All right, today's core workout. We're gonna make those abs burn with a whole bunch of little movements. So we have got 25 reps of each exercise. We're gonna go through it three times. We're gonna do regular crunches, side crunches, and reverse crunches. I'll show you them all. Regular crunches down here. Keep that spine long, just a crunch. So we're just bringing those shoulder blades off the ground and back down. All the way off the ground, back down. If you wanna feel it, put your hand on your belly, feel it crunch, come down. 25, you can go fast. Right there, as long as you're focusing on that muscle. Your side crunch, flip over on your side here. You're gonna put your elbow behind your head and then crunch and come down. Crunch, come down, right there. You can use this arm to help you and to balance. 25 on each side. Final move, reverse crunch. Back on our back. I want you to think like you're trying to put the bottom of your feet on the ceiling, but it's a little move. We're just lifting those hips off the ground with our belly muscles right here. Push it up, bring it down, up and down. 25 of those, repeat it all three times and enjoy that burn. Okay, part two of today's workout is gonna be more glute focused. So we're gonna be on the ground still. Um, we're gonna do some donkey kicks. We're gonna do feet elevated glute bridges. And we're gonna do fire hydrants. Again, 25 reps of everything, even the single leg movements, three rounds. Okay, so rest between those rounds because those muscles might be on fire, a little bit. Here's what it looks like. Donkey kick, flat back, okay? You don't want your back arched because we're not working on this muscle, we're working on this muscle. Stay nice and flat here. We're gonna lift that leg using your glute so your knee is even with your butt and your foot is flat. Bring it down, back up. Notice my spine stays straight the whole time. I'm not looking up and arching my back. I don't want that. Stay nice and neutral right there. 25 on each side, okay? Flip over on your back. Find something you can put your feet up on. Chair, couch, step, anything is fine. You can even put your feet up against the wall if that's easier. You want them about even with your knees and you've got glute bridges. Pushing those hips up as high as you can. Back down, up and down right there for 25. If you have a band, like a hip circle band, put it around your knees. It'll add a little extra intensity. From there, we're going back to our hands and knees right here. 
you've got fire hydrants. The important thing with the fire hydrant is that I move with my knee, not my foot. So I'm lifting my knee till it's straight out from my hip. Again, nice flat back, up and down, up and down. What leading with your foot would look like would be like that. Getting my foot out there, I want my knee to go up. So if I turn this way, give you a better idea. Knee comes up, foot stays below my knee, okay? That makes your glute work more than any other muscle. Go through all of that three times, take breaks as needed, but really try to challenge yourself. Okay, okay we're on to the challenging part of the workout. Um, still on the ground, which is exciting, but that doesn't make it easy. So you have got 50, five, zero, plank ups and 50, five, zero, mountain, reverse mountain climbers. So let me show you what those look like. You're gonna be on your elbows to start with this plank up. We're down here and you are gonna come all the way up to straight arms and back down. That's one. You're gonna lead with your right hand like that for 25. Switch to your left, lead with the left for 25. After you're done with that, you're gonna flip over and a reverse mountain climber. You're gonna be here, straighten those legs out, bring those hips up high, and then you're gonna bring one knee at a time in tight and back in tight. 25 on each leg. You can go fast, but don't sacrifice form. So make sure everything is nice and controlled. Add speed in as you feel comfortable. Enjoy that. All right, we're on to today's conditioning piece. So back to a Tabata, which you're completely familiar with. Today's Tabata is a burpee. So again, you're familiar with these, but let's go over them for fun. Come down, whole body touches the ground, hands above your head, right here. Keep going for 20 seconds, as many as you can do. When that timer beeps, catch your breath for 10, jump back into it, eight rounds. If you wanna make the challenge a little bit bigger, I want you to count how many burpees you get every 20 seconds and try to get the same number or more each time. They'll keep you moving, might make you out of breath, but it will be fun. Good luck. Okay, this week's challenge is how many dips you can do in two minutes. So two minutes is a long time. Those triceps are probably gonna get tired, but I want you to do it today, see how many you can get, and then keep practicing it throughout the week. Let us know where you started and where you finish at the end of the week. Put it in the comments. This is really exciting to see your progress and to share and cheer each other on. So make sure you're letting us know. Here's what a dip looks like. Find a chair, a step, a ledge, anything that you can move off of. Your hands are gonna be facing forward and you're gonna lower yourself until your shoulders are even with your elbows. Push back up, back down, okay? Full depth here. This doesn't count. You gotta get all the way down, all the way up, as many as you can do in two minutes. Good luck, let us know how it goes. 